great audience. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, when did Brad Pitt start doing a comedy? <laughs> yeah, don't laugh quite that loud, ma'am. I know I don't look like Brad Pitt. I look more like the child of Fred Flintstone and Rosie O'Donnell. That's <laughs> kind of how I'm going through life. I'm a big guy trying to lose weight. It's tough to lose the weight, isn't it? Who's trying to lose weight, anybody? <laughs> Usually they're sitting in the back, but this is nice. It's more spread out. That's good. It's I'm trying to lose weight. It's tough losing weight, especially that last 75 pounds. It's just, <laughs> it's the worst, <laughs> right? Yeah. But we've had three kids, so this is baby weight. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> You're not saying 40 is a new 30? I've just decided triple XL is a new medium. Chocolate is a new broccoli. That's, there you go, yeah. That's kind of how I'm going through life. Went to the doctor and it turns out I've got a skin condition. Too much. <laughs> so he asked me what I was doing for exercise and I told him I like to play golf. So he suggested I try walking the course. I know, well I did that. I was actually surprised at how many things I had missed having not walked the course before. They got windmills, castles, <laughs> clown heads, <laughs> all sorts of things. No more cards for me. I'm, I'm done. Oh, I'm trying to get in shape. I, I joined a gym, you know, which I guess is good. You're supposed to join the gym. I really only join the gym so I make sure I fit in my coffin. So, yeah. My, my wife, for my birthday this year, she got me a Snuggie. Yeah, I said, sweetie, everything I wear is a Snuggie. So, and I like using some of the equipment. I started using the elliptical. Anybody use that, the elliptical? Yeah, yeah. I like using it because I feel like I must resemble a member of the Marvel Universe, right? When I'm on that thing. But I think the truth is I look more like those inflatable wiggly balloon guys in front of the car wash. <laughs> I was in Home Depot. I heard this over the loudspeaker. Assistance needed in the blind cutting area. Assistance in the blind cutting area. I thought, well, that's good. they were assisting the blind guy while he's revving up the power saw. <laughs> how, how am I doing? Am I, am I on the line? Am I close? Am I... <laughs> oh, marriage is great. We do love movies. We love movies and TV. It's so different now, though, than when I was a kid. When I was a kid, we had like nine channels, you know, and very limited viewing opportunities, right? But we did have the TV guide, which is great, because the TV guide came every week to our house. And this is my dad's favorite magazine. But he would plop down in his easy chair with his pen, and he'd go through the TV guide, and using a system that he developed, he would go through and mark all the shows in order of preference of what we were going to watch. And because he was the king of the TV, we watched what he wanted to watch, right? Nowadays, TV is totally different, right? Because we have like 900 channels and virtually unlimited viewing opportunities, right? And it, it's crazy, and now you don't even need the TV guy because they print it right on the TV monitor. The description is right there. But here's my problem. I can't read it. The type is too tiny. I don't know what it says, you know? And we have a 60-inch TV with, you know, we sit about 10 feet from it, and I still don't know what it says. I actually keep a pair of hunter binoculars next to the couch that I use so I can read the monitor. Harrison Ford stars in a riveting drama about a computer, dot, dot, dot. <laughs> dot, 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 more. Harrison Ford stars in a riveting drama about a computer, virus, period. <laughs> That's it, one word? You couldn't squeeze it under the... <laughs> now, we like watching episodic shows, and there's one we saw not too long ago, maybe you saw it, called um, Severance. And it was pretty good. We watched about two or three episodes, and, and we decided to go to bed. A few nights later, we came back to watch it again, but we couldn't remember the name of the show, and we couldn't remember what streaming channel it was on, right? So we, had, we knew that Christopher Walken was in it, so we had to do a search. Okay, let's see, Blast of the Past, no. Deer Hunter, no. Annie Hall, no. There it is, Severance, and we finally got it. Watched about four or five episodes, it was a lot of fun. And to make sure we don't have this problem in the future, my wife went out and she purchased a dry erase board that she mounted on the wall next to the TV monitor. And now she just writes the name of the show and writes what streaming channel it's on. 
So basically, it's like we have TV ad again, right? <laughs> Sometimes when you're performing, you get to perform in some very odd places. I once performed at a senior center. <laughs> Nobody in there under the age of like 85 or 90, right? It was crazy. And while I was performing, there was a woman going around making little balloon animals for everybody. I thought, what a nice way to honor the greatest generation. Thanks for storming the beach at Normandy. Here's a wiener dog. 